Hey guys, welcome back to Lex Listens. If you're new here, my name is Alexa, and today we are checking out Jimin's album. It's called Muse. It is his second solo album, and I'm very excited. I'm curious to see what he brings to this album. I've heard Who, and I've heard Smeraldo Garden Marching Band. I always, like, pause, because that's a really odd name, and my brain can't comprehend it quite yet. Um, so I'm really excited to see, because um, Face for me really loved, really felt good about, but always felt like there was like a piece missing. So I'm curious with Muse, how I feel as a whole. So without further ado, we're gonna get into the intro, which is called Rebirth. Ooh. This is pretty. If I'm trying to be special, Oh my god, his voice is like full Jimin. What is this backing vocals? You know what's interesting about this song is the way almost the whole song felt like you should be like clapping along to it like you know like in a concert when they're like clap and you're like hey like the whole song felt like that like it, it feels I don't know if it's the drums in this song but it, it gives that vibe that you should be clapping along I love this. This is so cute. First of all, I love the vibes, the uh, production on this song. Very good. Very like hopeful and upbeat and I like the drums. And as for like the lyrical content, it was very sweet, very cute. Like it, it gave like happy feelings inside to me. Um, so the next song on the album is Interlude Showtime. So let's get into that. Oh, this reminds me of his last album again. What's with him and like these circus noises? I don't like the circus. It makes me, gives me creepy vibes. <laughs> I get scared of the circus. Maybe if I think about it as like a marching band and not a circus, then I'll feel better. This was at the beginning of the music video. And then it goes into Smeraldo Garden Marching Band. Okay. Let's listen to Smeraldo Garden Marching Band featuring Loco. I did kind of pay attention to the lyrics, but I kind of didn't. So let's pay attention now. <laughs> this is like... This album is so happy so far. I need to add this to my playlist while it's playing because... June 12th. Ooh, I 
love these uh, ad libs. I didn't notice them the first time around. Yes, sir. And he is such a good addition to this. Just for you. I love that. Let's talk about it. There's a lot of band vibes in this album so far. Ooh, that one's so good. It feels so good. It feels good on the inside to listen to that one. Okay, the next one is called Slow Dance and it's featuring Sophia Carson. Very curious. I just wanna slow dance, baby. You can take my hand. Ooh. So do I feel your heartbeat on my That's the melody Good rhythm in my turn Let's your mind Ooh, I don't know what I'm going to say I'm listening to all your music So my God, it's your name I'm so good Come on, come on a little closer the way he sings this is so Jimin and I just love it. Like it's, I can't even, my words are not coming to me, but I love the melody, I love the lyrics, and I love the way he's singing it. It's so satisfying to the ear. I'm so excited for her to come in because I'm so curious how it's gonna sound with the feature. Wow. She's got like a nice like deep voice. It kind of it kind of contrasts with Jimin's like light airy. Hers is kind of like deeper soulier soulier <laughs> like more soulful um and his is just so light and airy it sounds really nice i hope they sing together a little bit because i think that would sound really good oh give me more Ooh, this might be my favorite so far. Production of this album is top notch. Please don't fade out. I want more. I want more. <laughs> I'm officially adding that to my playlist because love. Because I love the vibe. I love the collab. These collabs so far, there's been two collabs and they both been fantastic. Love the way her voice was kind of a little bit more like had a little bit more oomph behind it and was like a little bit more deep and soulful and her and his voice was kind of like light airy fresh and I feel like it worked so well together I really like that song one of my favorites so far for sure the next song is called be mine I feel like this is a very like lovey-dovey album I'm very surprised by the contents of it but I'm loving it Whoa. 
The way he said that. Yeah, yeah. Take a bit, take a bit, and I'm gonna Almost Latin vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this right here. I wish there was a dance practice for this. I feel like this would be such a nice dance. Ooh. I like, I like the vibes, Jimin. I like them, I approve. I have not disliked a single song on this album. Like, you are killing it, my dude. The production is killing it. We're gonna move on to Who. I have heard this, I watched the music video, like today, literally, so. Didn't really pay attention extremely to the lyrics, but it did look like they were all English, so let's listen to it again. Never met, but she's always on my mind. Wanna give her the world and so much more. Who is my heart waiting for? If every day I think about her, yeah, every day of my life, then tell me why I haven't found her. I know I'm gonna be jamming this all the time. I'm also adding this to my playlist. So I'm not sure if I did or not. I'm really impressed that he released a full English. Well, he did this with uh, Face too. He had a full English single, kind of. It was English version, a Korean version, but still, go Jimin with all the English. Like I feel like that's really cool of him. I, I like it's like I prefer. I would say like maybe the Korean over the English generally, but also I want to be supportive. Like if they're like trying to be like learning English and doing English things. Like, I think that's really cool. I don't know. Oh, it sounds so good. It's a really good single. Oof. So good. It's all so good. So good. I'm just, I'm just a happy camper over here. That is a great single. The last song is called Closer Than This, and I want to say this was the song that he released early, like way earlier than even announcing the album, I believe. And I think it's dedicated to ARMY, if I'm not mistaken, I, but I'm, I haven't heard it. I know I should have listened to it by now, but I haven't heard it, so let's listen to it. I've been getting comments to listen to this one, so I'm excited to actually listen to it for the first time. Hmm. 
to worry now letting go for your letting go of your hand for a moment but it's only a comma like it's only a small pause it's not like a it's not a period it's a comma that's a really deep lyric for some reason I don't know oh. until the day is in purple again Cause anytime you want me, I'll be Right here where you call me, I'll be Can never let you go Never let you go mm. Whenever you need me, I'll be If you believe me, I'll be I will never let you go Never let you go Why do I want to cry? I'm going to cry I'll remember the song his voice is so sweet. Ah, oh, what a great way to end the album, too. <sighs> this is my favorite album from Jimin. I know he's only had two albums, but this one's my favorite. There was not a bad song on it. There was not a bad anything on it. I love the production. I loved the sound of it. I love the sound of him. I love the features. Not a bad feature in the in the mix. Um, it gave happy vibes, but it also gave like lovey-dovey vibes, which I also liked. Um, I also feel like ending it with closer than this is like it's like the exclamation point at the end of the sentence. Like it just it just is it's a cherry on the top of the cake. The cake that is Muse. Cherry. Great song. Great, like I love how you know they say that they'll come back together and like after the military, don't worry, twenty twenty five, that all all that type of thing that they've said. But they also give like mountains and mountains of reassurance like don't worry we haven't forgot about you guys we haven't forgotten about each other we're gonna be okay and you know i need that reassurance i believe you bts when you tell me that you are getting back together but also listening to this song will help me feel better about it in general sorry my camera died as i was saying i just really enjoyed this album as a whole definitely my favorite from jimin and i feel like I'm just really glad we got it. It felt very complete in comparison to Face, where I'm like, I, I felt like Face was like his 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 baby, like his first piece of art that he was putting out there. And although I loved it, and I loved the singles, and I loved everything about it, this one feels like he's kind of finding his footing as doing somebody who does solo work a little bit. And it's really, really, really nice to hear. I just really enjoyed it and I really enjoyed the production. I, I don't know what else to say about it. Like I just, from start to finish, really enjoyed this album. So what do you guys think? Is there anything that I missed? Leave down below anything that I need to know or watch or see or whatever. Let me know down below and I will check it out. But that is all I have for you guys today. Bye guys.